we're back at RCTV's 2016 Organization Night. I'm here with Angela Merrill, who's here to represent RCTV. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you've had a busy night because you've been uh, being a host as well tonight, but uh, we're going to switch gears. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about RCTV's summer workshop program? Absolutely, Katie. Thank you. Um, so every year, RCTV runs workshops in the summer. Uh, we do two-day workshops, three-day workshops, uh, one-day workshops, one week. Um, we've got uh, one that we started last week that was our screenplay for actors workshop that we're really excited about this year. Um, we've got it split into screenplay for actors as well as screenplay for crew. So whether you like um, in front of the camera or behind the camera, you can come and uh, do either or. And even if you want to tackle both, we'll, we'll figure out a way to let you <laughs> tackle both too. Um, so it's a great thing for RCTV. It helps us to get a lot of the kids in Reading involved with the organization. Um, we get a lot of our interns that you know grow up through the system. They start with us in a stop motion workshop that happens for two days, and then they stay with us until they graduate from high school. So it's a great thing that they can start as kids to get going and learn all about TV. Like I said, the new thing that we're doing is film as well, which is very exciting for us. Um, so we do music videos and stop motion and TV production, short films. The screenplay is a full length feature film. So we try to offer as much as we can for these these kids who want to tackle the, the field of video communications. Yeah. And sometimes they come back after high school too and during college <laughs> and after college. <laughs> actually some of our some of our instructors this year yeah. are those kids yes. actually. Which is great. <laughs> like a little farm team. Yeah, absolutely. They're you know they're off in college and they're learning some of the newest things about film and TV. So then they get to come back and explain to us and guide us through what are the new um, aspects of TV and film now and help us to share that with the, the kids, which yeah, is fantastic. Over the summer. Yes. Um, so how can uh, parents find out about how, si how to sign their kids up for the summer workshop? The easiest thing is our website, rctv.org, nice and simple. Um, all of the information for all of the workshops is on the website. Um, you just click the classes. I also believe it's right on the homepage too. So we try to keep it nice and easy for everybody. And you can also call me 781-944-8888 and I'll answer any questions that you, you have or you can email me at Angela at rctv.org. And again, I'll answer any questions that you have, get you any paperwork that you need, all that kind of good stuff. And you can always walk in off the street when we're open as well. We are mm -hmm. always able to talk and chit chat about what's going on in the summer to let parents know. I know a lot of parents have questions. Will my kid like this? Which is what the two day workshops are great for. They can try something, see if they like it. And then a lot of times we'll get kids who start in a two day workshop in June and then in August they're coming for you know, full weeks and the three week workshop because they liked it that much. Yeah, I know that screenplay was a huge success last year. Um, that was the first year that it ran in yes. that way, right? Could you talk a little bit about the success of last year and what you're changing for this year? Absolutely, so last year it was sort of something um, Spur of the moment, we decided to try. We had a lot of students who were interested in film versus TV, and we said, let's tackle this. Let's see what we can do with this. So I took a Shakespeare script, a Much Ado About Nothing, rewrote it, made it more um, for 2015. Tech, yeah, tech savvy. Yes, they, there, was a lot of, there was a lot of texting in the movie, yes, yes. Um, so it was more appropriate to, to kids nowadays. Um, it helped us with, with a piece of uh, something that we really didn't want to tackle at the time with costuming and that since we were tackling this big project that we had never tackled before. Um, so through the two weeks, we filmed an entire, the movie was uh, about an hour and 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, a feature length film. We filmed it, the kids were, it was a new experience for them. A lot of them are theater kids. So to film something out of order was definitely <laughs> different for them and interesting for them. Um, and so over the, the two weeks, so we filmed it. Um, we had to get it edited. We had a red carpet screening the Sunday. We finished filming on the Friday, and on the Sunday we had a red carpet um, screening. They all came in dressed in their fancy oh, duds. Oh, it was so fabulous. Um, invited yes. the community to come in, watch the movie. Everybody had a good time. So this so one of the things we found out last year was we felt a little rushed in two weeks. So we've added a third week to the program. Okay. Um, also what we've done is we have a, sp a special program for the crew this summer mm -hmm. as well. Last year we had a couple of kids who came in and volunteered, but now they have the opportunity to actually sign up. The, the crew doesn't have to sign up for all three weeks. They can sign up for one, two, or three mm -hmm. um, so that they can really get a full experience of being behind the camera, shooting the footage, um, dealing with the audio, a lot of different things that they don't know actually goes into it because a lot of times the instructors are doing that 
So right. they really had that great opportunity. Um, we've added some more staff on because we want to be able to do a few more things. We want to have two camera teams going on instead of one. Again, it felt a little pressured towards the end of the mm -hmm. second week, so we want to make sure that we, um, we have enough time and nobody feels stressed out. Um, and we've added a bunch of different field trips that we're going to take with the students oh, as great. well um, so that they can actually – they're filming a movie, but we want them to get the experience from other people, what it's like in the movie industry. Um, so we're coming up with a bunch of different field trips that we can take the kids on so it's not constantly filming. They can take mm -hmm. a little break, a little breather, regroup themselves. Yeah. So it should be fun and exciting. So I bet one of the concerns for parents is, does my child need to know anything about TV and film <laughs> before they do a TV and film <laughs> workshop? <laughs> because I definitely did not have any experience before I was started here. So... <laughs> And the answer to that is no. <laughs> that is what we are here for. We are here to educate, train, give you all of the experience. If you're not an actor but you want to tackle it, we will help you. We will help you with character development. We will get you to where you need to be as a character. And the same thing with behind the scenes. We're going to teach you, you know, how the cameras work, how the audio works, how everything works. Um, you know, and you can always be sort of like, you know, a tag team with a student who has done it in the past and who mm -hmm. has had experience. And then, you know, a day or two goes by and you're ready. Yeah. <laughs> ready to jump right in and do it yourself. So, you know, that's that's what we do here at RCTV in general mm -hmm. is train you how to do these things. Yeah. So anybody with no experience, come on down. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you just run through some of the specific programs that we have going on this summer? Absolutely. So we've got um, two-day music video is going to uh, kick off the summer for us. Um, we've got a two-day intro to television, which will give them um, a small insight into what it takes to put on a TV show. Um, we've got a one day stop motion so that's all um, the last week of June is uh, sort of kicking us off and getting us ready to go the kids just got out of school mm -hmm. um, then we're gonna we'll jump into the screenplay um, yep. for actors and for crew and that's a three-week program um, oh I'm sorry we've got our one-week TV production before screenplay my apologies um, the one-week TV production is really for the kids who really want to understand how to create a TV show mm -hmm. um, you know the two-day intro is fantastic that get, gives them a taste the one week they're here all day you know Monday through Friday 8 30 to 5 30 so they're really figuring out how day. to do it. <laughs> yes, exactly. They're writing it, they're filming it, as well as editing it, and then we show it for their families on the last day. Um, and then we end the summer with some uh, a two-day short film, so that's somebody who maybe um, is interested, but the screenplay might be a little bit, whether the three weeks don't work for them or whatnot, they can come and try the two-day short film, mm -hmm. get a little taste of what it's like to make a short movie minute, two minutes long. Um, we've got a two-day advanced stop motion, so those are for that's for our students who have done stop motion before, but they sure. want to take it to that next level. And then we end it with, we start on a two-day music video, we end on a one-day music video. <laughs> they, love to, they love to make their yeah. music videos, and that's great. We do that in the, in the green screen room. They have a lot, of, yeah. a lot of fun in there. It's a, that's a busy summer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is, and I'm here for all of it. <laughs> <laughs> the face <laughs> of the summer workshops. Um, if you could just run through the contact information one more time. Absolutely. So our website is www.rctv.org. Phone number is 781-944-8888. And you can email me at Angela, A-N-G-E-L-A, at rctv.org. And that can happen right now. Absolutely. At registration <laughs> is open, right? It yeah. is. It is, yes. Okay, great. Thank you so much for uh, stepping in for the summer workshops and for being a host in general. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Katie. <laughs> I think we're going to throw it to a break.